So the next part of the discussion here is that is metallic nature and uh, non metallic nature. So if you go for metallic nature property of metals it is the property of metals property of non metals example you can take sodium potassium rubidium cesium manganese and so on non metals oxygen sulfur hydrogen nitrogen phosphorus all these are non metals metallic nature metallic nature of metals is directly proportional to electro positive character nature non metallic nature non metallic nature of elements is directly proportional to electronegative nature of elements metallic nature metallic nature if you go for periods decreases and for groups and for groups it increases similarly non metallic nature non metallic nature non metallic nature in a period it increases in a group it decreases upward arrow is meant for increase and downward arrow is meant for decrease in the case of the variation of the metallic and non metallic nature example example uh, left to right in a period if you go for a period in particularly if you go for periods if you go for third period say i am taking third period starts with the lithium sodium potassium potassium calcium up to uh, you can take uh, that is uh, potassium means it will start or else you can take potassium calcium then uh, scandium up to 30 30 31 31 gallium gallium germanium gallium and germanium germanium arsenic arsenic is fifth group family and uh, that is oxygen selenium oxygen sulfur selenium selenium 34 bromine 35 selenium and finally bromine so i can say bromine this is a period so bromine is a non metal bromine is a non metal whereas potassium is a metal so you can very clearly understand that in any period you find that the metallic character gradually changes to non metallic character in a period if you go for a group in particular if you go for a group any group you take that is you take carbon family that is carbon silicon germanium tin and lead your yeah, lead is a metal lead is a metal and carbon is a non metal mind you this carbon silicon germanium tin and lead they belong to a group in group you find that the starting element is non metal and the last element is the metal so that means in a group always the metallic character will increase and in a period the metallic character will uh, in a group the metallic character will increase and in a period the non metallic character will increase so generally so therefore from this discussion what we can do here is that is all metals if you take 
or meta in metallic nature all metals they lose electrons they lose they lose electrons so they are reducing in nature and all non metals they gain electrons hence they are oxidizing in nature they are oxidizing in nature and moreover here one particular point what you can highlight here is that is increase of nuclear charge increase of nuclear charge increase of nuclear charge decreases decreases the tendency decreases the tendency to attract electrons but as here increase of nuclear charge increase of nuclear charge both the cases in metallic character and non metallic character there is increase in the nuclear charge increase increase in the nuclear charge will increase the tendency to attract electrons to attract electrons from the nucleus to attract electrons from the nucleus that is increase of nuclear charge will decrease the tendency to attract electrons by the nucleus therefore the metals can easily lose electrons therefore they can lose the electrons very easily and they can become reducing nature they can show the reducing nature property on the other hand if you go for non metallic nature of the elements of course there is an increase in the nuclear charge there is an increase in the nuclear charge so therefore there is an increasing tendency to attract electrons by the nucleus within that element so that it can show the gain of electrons nature and finally it can become oxidizing nature if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus